Hi, I'm Philip Hundle. I'd like to uh, talk to you briefly today about, uh, like I oftentimes do, about different uh, condemnation projects in Texas. Uh, I'm an attorney. I focus on representing landowners uh, that are facing condemnation, uh, some type of condemnation project, be it uh, power line, pipeline, highway expansion. And uh, today what I'd like to do is talk to you about the uh, Matterhorn Express pipeline. Uh, it's something that is, uh, I'm going to say it's a very, a very new project, um, early, early stages. And so I want to, like a lot of times, get information out to the landowners, because right now you uh, may have been contacted by, you know, right away agents um, asking for temporary access uh, to, to conduct surveys on your property, uh, you know, it, in these right-of-way agents, uh, they come from different uh, companies. Uh, one in particular that we've uh, dealt with is Norfleet. And so if you're getting contacted by someone from Norfleet, you may not know who that is and don't understand exactly what they're asking you for or wanting from you. Um, and so they're a right-of-way acquisition company working for, uh, and the actual company, we'll talk about that in a second, it's uh, the company that's behind the, this project, the, it's called the Matterhorn Express Pipeline, is Whitewater. Uh, and we'll, we'll go into that and we'll talk about that. I've asked the uh, Railroad Commission, I made a public records request uh, to find out more about this pipeline uh, because early on in this, you know, early on stages of the projects, uh, uh, oftentimes there's not a lot of information out there. And so to try to help you, the landowner, better understand the project. If you've been contacted by some of these right-of-way agents, then, uh, you know, hopefully this is helpful. So with that, uh, I'm going to, you know, one thing, and, and I've been out in the field a lot of times when I shoot these videos and then I'm in my office. And so what I've done now is I've taken some photos and just put them and use them as a background. This is something, if you're a, a landowner, uh, you should be uh, always uh, concerned about if, if a pipeline company wants to run a pipeline on your property is the next thing you know, you may have the understanding that it's all going to be up underground, but if you don't pay close attention to the easement uh, language or the easement agreement that uh, you may enter into uh, that talks about uh, other appurtenances or above ground appurtenances, next thing you know, you may have something uh, on your property that's right behind me, uh, you know, a, a, a valve site. So, uh, you know, it's above ground, not uh, not something that, that I don't think anybody really wants on their property above ground. So so you definitely want to be uh, uh, you know, aware of that and know what uh, some of the potential pitfalls and downfalls are in an easement agreement uh, with a project like this. So with that, let me, um, I'm gonna share my screen. I'm gonna go into some of the specifics in detail of this Matterhorn project. Okay, so bear with me. Okay, um, like I mentioned, we did a public records request, a railroad commission. Um, they provided us just, uh, once again, very scant uh, amount of documents. Uh, this project, uh, at least right now, uh, Whitewater is saying it's 410 miles long project, covers lots of different counties. Uh, and it actually, you know, in this, they have it in alphabetical order. This is not obviously geographically how they run, but uh, Austin County, Burnett, uh, Concho, Fort Bend, Glasscock, uh, Erin, uh, Lampasas, Lee, McCullough, uh, Midland, Reagan, San Saba, Tom Green, Waller, Washington, Wharton, and Williamson counties. So as you can see uh, on the east side, you know, we're... Uh, we we're talking about Fort Bend County, essentially, uh, and then all the way on the west side, and this is in Midland, uh, we're talking about Midland County. So uh, this pipeline, like so many pipelines from uh, the uh, Permian Basin, uh, the Midland area is going to run uh, towards the east to the coast to get to the refineries or to get to other, to tie into other pipelines that are going to the coast where the refineries are. Uh, it takes a, uh, you know, it runs to the east, but it, it passes a north of Austin. Uh, now, as many of you know, 
recently the uh, Kinder Morgan PHP line decided to go uh, right through the hill country uh, in between Austin and San Antonio. And that was a, that was a very new and different route that uh, has not been taken uh, really before with a major pipeline. But uh, this pipeline, the, uh, and it's called, they're calling it the Matterhorn Express Pipeline, uh, even though the company behind it is Whitewater Midstream LLC. Um, it's, a, it's a large pipeline. Uh, I'm going to refer to it as a 42-inch line. Now there's parts of it that are 30 inches, 36 inches, but the maximum diameter, at least right now, is 42 inch diameter so it's a huge uh pipeline uh and it's a huge gas pipeline um some of the other pages and once again there wasn't a lot produced uh by the railroad commission but um one thing that i found a, of interest uh was the um the Railroad Commission recently, I mean, rejected their application uh, and said it was incomplete. So uh, once again, uh, right-of-way agents are out there for uh, Whitewater uh, trying to get temporary access agreements to survey. All the while, it appears that uh, the, uh, the T4 application hasn't been approved by the Railroad Commission. So we're going to monitor this and then we'll, we'll provide updates. Um, you know, as we find out more. Uh, once again, the right-of-way agents, uh, the logo on the bottom right, North Fleet, uh, the logo for the Matterhorn Express pipeline doesn't come through very well, but but that's the, uh, that's the logo that uh, we've seen on different letterheads. So um, if, uh, once again, if you're contacted by uh, Norfleet, um, you know, uh, always, like with anything, ask questions and make sure that you understand what they're asking for and that you understand it. And then, as always, it, to better understand your rights uh, as a landowner, please contact an attorney that handles eminent domain condemnation uh, matters for landowners, representing landowners, protecting landowners so that you can become better informed. So with that, hopefully this uh, helps uh, you better understand a little bit more about this new Matterhorn Express pipeline. Uh, my plan is to, to give uh, updates, hopefully uh, every couple of weeks about this project as more develops. With that, good luck.